Houdini, eaten alive. Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. I hope you're all having a good week. And um, uh, it's not been a good week at all for me. Um, uh, Houdini, my blue spot jawfish, is uh, pretty much, well, he's dead. Um, and it's it's been a horrible week actually, a very, very horrible week. Um, as everyone knows, he's my favorite fish. I've had him for quite a few months. He's the low guy on the channel. And basically I come down here the other morning and if you if you saw the state of him, I do not know. It looks like he's been eaten alive. That's the only way to describe it, and it's it's quite traumatic. So obviously, you know, I, I would say anyone that don't want to watch this video, I kind of understand. But I have to document it because it obviously it is a diary of my uh, of my, my my reef aquarium. So um, I'm gonna I've got two clips. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go on to one clip, and then we're gonna come back to me. And then we're going to go back on to the other one. But, um, you know, you can imagine, I don't want to, I don't want this to be a long video. I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. Um, I'm gutted, as you can imagine. So let's take a look. Right, everyone. So here he is. Um, Notice this this morning, which doesn't, is not good at all, is it? Um, looks like, I don't know if someone's taken a chunk out of his towel or something. Um so it's whatever it is it's not good at all um that is not good and um uh, the problem is i don't have a hospital tank so when you're seeing this video he may even be he may even be a goner unfortunately but um yeah just thought i'd do a quick video i noticed this this morning um yeah i don't know what it is but um i'll get some advice um but yeah poor little houdini um like I said, this the time this video's on, he um he could be um he's acting weird as well. He could be uh he could be on his way out. So uh yeah. Um I'm devastated, but um yeah, okay, back back to me. So there you go. I mean you can see the state of it. I don't I do not know what it is, if it's a bacterial infection um i did send it to sean sean said it could potentially be a bacterial infection it could have been eaten but if you look back on previous videos he wasn't looking that well anyway you know he was just wasn't acting himself and then i woke up and i saw that and i thought oh my god there's you know it's, it's not looking good at all now as you saw on that clip i don't have a hospital tank so there was nowhere to put him I could have made one up, but I don't know if it would have been cycled, if ammonia, there would have been ammonia issues. I know everyone's saying you should have just got him out and treated him. Yeah, I should have, but I have, I, I didn't. Um, uh, so I'm absolutely gutted. Let's take a look at the, the other video. This was about a day or two later, a day later, I think it was. And you can tell by the, it got even worse. So um, unfortunately, let's, let's, let's roll that one. Right, everyone, here's another update on Houdini, and he, he's not looking good at all, bless him. Um, I really need to try and get him out and get him into some sort of tank, because I don't know if you can see it from here, but you can see in the reflection, his tail was pretty much gone now. I don't know if it's a bacterial infection or if it's... I just don't know what, but he's, he's not looking good. Look at him. And that's a fucking... Oh, it's, it's actually really painful to watch it. It's like my favourite fish and, you know, he's been hiding literally in these rocks for the last day or two and he's, I've, I've just come down this morning and to be fair, I expected him to be have been gone but he's still alive and, oh, it's just so annoying. I just need to, I think I should just get out. I need to get him out and put him in somewhere where I can maybe treat him for antibiotics or something like that. So um, that's the trouble when you don't have a hospital tank. It's just so frustrating. But um, anyway, um, yeah, just thought I'd give you another update. Obviously, this will all be on the Sunday video. Uh, so there'll be video clips. You've got the previous one and then this. Um, so, uh, yeah, obviously gutted. Um, uh, but yeah, this is the update. So as you can see from that, it was you can tell over a space of a day it had got a lot worse. 
you know, it's pretty much half a quarter of them had been eaten or the infection had got to it. Please whack in the comments if you know what it was. Or unless, unless if, if you're speculating, don't bother because I've, I ain't got time for that. Unless you actually know what it is, put a comment in there. If you don't know, then don't say anything, basically. I'm not... In, Still, I'm still gutted about it, and uh, I'm not going to go backwards and forwards on on comments, you know, from people that are just, you know, oh, it could be this, it could be that. Unless you know, don't put it in. Um, so as you can imagine, I'm absolutely gutted. You know, it was my favourite fish. It's the second one I've had. I'm not getting, I'm not getting another one. Um, and the reason for that is that I don't actually believe they're good aquarium fish. You know, I think they they do prefer cooler waters. Um, and they're they're nice. They they in my in my opinion are one of the most beautiful fish you can have. But I just don't think they fare well in a reef tank. So uh, as much as I'd love to have another one, that that's that's me done with um, uh, jaw fishes now. Uh, so uh, so yeah, and that's you know, I'm pretty much done with this tank. I'll be honest. As you knew from last week's video, I was pretty much done already. You know this is. This is the icing on the cake. I'm sticking with the tank, so don't worry. I'm not closing the channel. I'm not going to. Um, I, I'm not closing the tank down. The tank is staying. Difference being, am I going to buy anything for any time soon? The answer to that is definitely no. Um, and uh, we're just going to keep it going, and yes, go from there. So um, yeah, I'll say I won't buy anything. I'm probably, you know, getting my wedding out of the way. You know, I'll get the passion again. It'll be all over it. So let's have a look at the tank. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm not even going to put on the blue or the, the filter on today. So um, as you can see, I've had a bit of a clear out. We've got rid of all these corals like the Monty and the, the Hammer. And I mean, this one here looks good from there, but there is actually two heads. I don't know if I can get you the angle of it. But there's actually two heads scored on that as well. And I keep seeing some little things that are um I'm gonna see if this this will work. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna try it. No, in fact I know it was it was a portrait. No, um when I took the other corals out, I actually zoomed in and there's those tiny little things on them. And I didn't know what it was, but um if I can get it on this video, I'm gonna put it on now. Okay, so if I've managed to to turn it into a landscape photo you'll see what i mean but i don't know what it is if anyone's got any ideas on what that is again put that in the comments um but i think it could be something that's that's killing these corals you know that those tiny little specks i just thought they're like coralline angle algae uh, but when you look closer at them it looks like it could be something else and i think it could be what's um what's causing the issue so let me know if you know what that is but yeah i mean I mean, we haven't really lost anything this week apart from Houdini. Um, and last time I saw Houdini, by the way, he was hiding right in there. Now, I'm saying he's dead. I'm 99.9% .9 sure he is, but you never know. He could just be in there, to, to you know, basically till he heals or to he's, um, you know, just to prevent him from being maybe eaten from other, you know, the, the clean-up crew or something. I don't know. But my guess is he's, he's, he's gone now, unfortunately. And yes, I should have acted faster. I should have put all my efforts into help saving him. And obviously I was working that day. It was a bit awkward. And, you know, uh, yeah, going back in time now, I should have maybe just set up a quarantine tank, put him in there. I maybe could have done something. Uh, but I I didn't and, I, and, and he's and he's gone. Um, apart from that, everything else is looking alright. The Goniapora is surprising or not? You know, they're, they're, I thought they, you know, I don't have much luck with the corals, and these are doing really well. So I'm really happy with those. So that's a positive. Obviously, the hammer's getting this hammer's getting nice and big now. Um, but yeah, I'm gutted. I can't I, I can't lie. Um, so um, well, let's have a look at the parameters for. Uh, for this week and then um in fact let me just get them now so here we are so it's uh nitrates 25 uh phosphate is 0 0.06 ph 0. um so ph 8.05 always do those the wrong way uh salinity 35 calcium 475 alkalinity 7.6 and magnesium 1440 okay now i did leave this light on for that reason just so i can show you the refugium i don't know if it's the light's probably not going to help it but yeah basically we're losing a lot of the chato in there you see it's 
you know this was packed and that it's pretty much dying off so again i'm not sure what's causing that but um but yeah that's a shame because that was the algae bound stuff so if i do get some more chain toe i'm gonna make sure it is the clean stuff again um so uh so yeah yeah that was uh that was another bit of bad news um so yeah uh, apart from that, I mean the tank looks nice. You know, I'm keeping. I'm really looking after it. I'm doing water changes every week. I do my maintenance. I mean, ever since I mean, I've had this tank and it is coming on two years now. Um, you know, I've always always looked after it. Um, there's the uh, my goby. He's been acting a bit weird recently as well. Um, so yeah, I've always looked after the tank. I absolutely, you know, I, I, I still, I'm, I still love the hobby. I've just lost a bit of passion. But let's come back to me and we'll have a quick chat. So yeah, not a good week at all. Uh, probably the worst week in, in my reefing career, career, hobby, whatever you want to call it. So um, yeah, it's not been a good week. Um, we've had bad weeks before, but I mean that other jawfish, you know, he he jumped he jumped within like a day, didn't he? So that you know this what you know Houdini was part of the channel, you know, and part of you know he's my favourite fish. So I'm absolutely gutted. Um, so chuck a R.I.P. Houdini in in the comments. That will show show you know that'll, that'll give a bit of respect for him as well. Um, but no, I'm gutted on a serious note. Really gutted about it and. Um, yeah it happens it's part of the part of this hobby unfortunately uh so but you know a big thank you to all my new subscribers from last week um and it was the first video in about a month so you know if you you know any any new subscribers and we have got quite a few welcome to the channel um it's not always bad you can look back on the previous videos you know we do have good news you know uh we you know we, we do fish tours you know of, of the local fish shops there's lots of stuff going on in this channel and lots of stuff coming forward as well like i said on the previous video we've got another lfs opening locally the ocean project and uh we're gonna get in there and do some filming um as soon as they open and uh that'll be a big part of this channel as well because we'll be in there buying bits uh, for the tank each week as well as going to reef dreams as well let's not forget them so a big thank you to all new subscribers um don't forget to hit that like button the comment button and the subscribe button and yeah you know it happens in this hobby um i've had it probably more than most but it is what it is and uh Thank you all for your support. Follow me on this journey. Like I said, the, the, there are going to be ups and downs, and we are getting a lot of downs at the moment. So let's hope we can get some more ups and start stocking this tank and getting it to how we want it to look. Um, so, yeah, if you know what that thing is, I'm going to try and get that photo on there. Let, don't forget to put some comments on that one. Uh, but, yeah, not the best video, but it is what it is. And uh, thanks for your support. I'll speak to you next week. See ya.